I mean, Simon, I'm going to be in Embra Greenlight TV GH. So, and then the first time I'm going to platform this one, I'm going to be in the And this one, subscribe it to the channel. I'm going to be in the story. I'm going to be in the story. I'm going to be in the comment section. 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 This is the weekend edition of Kawadjini on Greenlight TV GH. And then, I'm going to be Captain Smart and Swat to be in the Yamani GGE for any Giba phone in our. Wa 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 bo na adi amo mo na ose o no he is the most important person in Ghana right now even anani ba umi akra mba so what you say he is the most important person in Ghana now ebu si anko ti ni chechi mo ni semo dia tuja ose o no media general bi an sake no no bi an su inti mi ni ne shi yego ti bi mare ba ya dini ya kenyina betu aso don't forget say all the wajen chwe ebe to comment session ya ken kaide ya mamu uwi ya nwa wa subscribe to the channel like a story na fi she na omu omu nye bin she nye bin ti afu fronsu nye bin she nye bin ti ya nko mra isi ya i have to disagree with mahama and sadly so and i must say that i'm quite disappointed very much disappointed John Dramani Mahama, Your Excellency, with all respect, you went to meet up with the youth. Before you went in there, you were briefed about the problems of the youth. Some of them you know already via experience and being in the country. The best thing you could tell the youth is that you will scrap the betting tax. I am so disappointed. One of the best things the NPP government did was to put hefty taxes on betting. Why? You want to raise a nation of betters and gamblers? Is that what you want? Huh? The youth form the basis of every society. Even in the Bible, God says straight away that God calls upon the youth because what? The youth are strong. In every society that begins to fail, it starts from the youth. My brother, my sister, everywhere you go in Ghana, there is a betting center. We have more betting centers in Ghana than we have pipe born water pipes. I said, we have more betting centers in Ghana than standpipes. We have more betting centers in Ghana than we have schools. We have more betting centers in Ghana than we even have human beings. If Ghana has a population of over 30 million people, trust me, there are about 60 million betting centers in Ghana. And all these, 99.9% .9 are controlled by Chinese. I went to my village the other time. I don't know the last time I saw water coming from the standpipe in my village. There were three betting centers in my village. I was shocked. Controlled by Chinese. So, Mr. President, I am looking forward to you coming up. It's not too late to withdraw some of these things. Please, don't speak like this because you want to win votes. Think about the youth. If you decide to take away the taxes from the bet, what does it mean? You are encouraging the youth to go into betting. I think this is cheap propaganda. Mr. President, you are bigger than this. Even if you don't campaign anymore, many people think and believe that you win the elections. But utterances like this, Mr. President, will jeopardize your chances of becoming president again. I am utterly disappointed. Ha! Put religion aside. Put spirituality aside. Let's bring in morality. What kind of nation is this that is encouraging betting? My brother, Forget about your religion. Forget about your spirituality. Let's bring in morality. Mr. President would have done better by telling the youth, you know what? We are going to open centers 
that will seek to close all the betting centers where you can get some kind of skill that will make you see betting as unattractive. Why? I don't want my children to bet. Do you want your children to bet? In my days, people look down on people who stake lotto. If you saw somebody walking around and say, oh, this is a lotto staker. It was hopeless people who went for lotto, true or false. What is the difference between this betting and lotto? Any nation that decides to hang on the vicissitudes of uncertainty. Hey, Black Cross, say it again. Say it again. Not many people understand this. Say it again. Teach Black Rasta. I said, any nation that decides to hang on on the vicissitudes of uncertainty. Hallelujah. In short, and simply put, any nation that decides to throw away hope and rely on uncertainty, gambling, is not a good nation. It's a useless nation. Now, Africa is seen as the youngest continent, even though we are the oldest, the first to be created by God Almighty. And anthropologists know this. Even people with no common sense know this. Today, we are seen as the youngest continent. And when you say young, it comes with a lot of inexperience. At the same time, it comes with vibrancy, energy, power, and strength. I have to disagree with Mahama and sadly so and i must say that i'm quite disappointed very much disappointed john dramani mahama your excellency with all respect you went to meet up with the youth before you went in there you were briefed about the problems of the youth some of them you know already via experience and being in the country the best thing you could tell the youth is that you will scrap the betting tax i am so disappointed one of the best things the npp government did was to put hefty taxes on betting why you want to raise a nation of betters and gamblers is that what you want huh? the youth form the basis of every society even in the bible god says straight away that god calls upon the youth because what the youth are strong in every society that begins to fail it starts from the youth my brother my sister Everywhere you go in Ghana, there is a betting center. We have more betting centers in Ghana than we have pipe born water pipes. I said, we have more betting centers in Ghana than stand pipes. We have more betting centers in Ghana than we have schools. We have more betting centers in Ghana than we even have human beings. If Ghana has a population of over 30 million people, trust me, there are about 60 million betting centers in Ghana. And all these, 99.9% .9 are controlled by Chinese. I went to my village the other time. I don't know the last time I saw water coming from the standpipe in my village. There were three betting centers in my village. I was shocked. Controlled by Chinese. So, Mr. President, I am looking forward to you coming up. It's not too late to withdraw some of these things. Please, don't speak like this because you want to win votes. Think about the youth. If you decide to take away the taxes from the bet, 